In this tutorial, I'll show you a very simple four line program that you can add in your TI 83 or 84 to calculate the inverse F function. Let's get started. In your calculator, go to the program button and press new and create new. Let's give it a short name. I'll call it INVF. The cursor is already in alpha mode and the Letters are in green, although it's not easy to see. I, N, V, F, and hit enter. Click the program button, right arrow to the IO, and the first choice is input. It's pasted into the line. Now we're going to need to type a bunch of letters. So if we press the second button and then alpha, it's locked in alpha mode. We're going to enter the quote mark and then area right. We're just typing in something that will show up on the screen to prompt you what to enter. This is a bit of a tedious process. The space bar, by the way, is down on the zero key. There's something that looks like a bracket turned on its side and that's a space bar. And now we spell out right. and the colon is above the decimal place, the end quote. Click the alpha button to take it out of alpha mode, comma, and then alpha A. We're naming whatever someone enters here for area to the right as the variable A. Enter, and now we'll again put another input, clicking the program button, over, enter, and D1 colon end quote comma and we'll name this N. One more input and this time we'll D2 will represent the degrees of freedom for the denominator and we'll call this D. It doesn't matter what you call these variables as long as you're consistent because in the last line is where we refer to all of the variables. Program one more time over and then down to DISP. And now we're going to the math button, up arrow to get to the solve, one minus and then second vars and down to FCDF. And in the TI-84, we have a, a help menu. You wouldn't have this in a TI-83 or an older TI-84. You'll just see FCDF and parenthesis. This is the order that we need to enter information. 0, X, N, and D. So we'll enter 0, X, N, D, and paste. Now we're back here with the function pasted in. If you have a TI-83, you wouldn't have seen the previous menu. You would have just gone immediately here with the FCDF and an open parenthesis, and you would have entered 0, comma, X, comma, N, comma, D. And we subtract A, X, and 0. Close parenthesis, hit Enter. So we now have our last line. And now we'll click second and mode to quit the program. And we'll go to the program and we see that we have INVF here. I'll click it to execute it and it pastes in program INVF. And if I hit enter, it now asks me for data. So let's look at this example problem. Let's say we want an upper tail F critical value with alpha of 0.05 my degrees of freedom for the numerator is 13 denominator is 11 it might take a little while eventually it will return the value of 2.76 and done if i press enter again it will give me a chance to enter another f critical when you turn your calculator off and back on depending on your model of calculator if it's still in memory, press enter to reload it. 
or restart INVF with program and execute. And that is how to program in a an inverse F function in a TI-83 or TI-84.